Good morning, guys. I have just left my grandparents' apartment. I'm gonna take you guys around Shanghai today, and we're starting off in the neighborhood where I live. Um, it used to be called Jabe, and it used to be kind of run down and one of the poor areas of Shanghai because that's where all the factories and production were. Um, but recently, in the past like 10 years, I'd say, um, they renovated it. So all the buildings around here, including the one that we live in, neighborhood behind us looks like that. All that is new. All normal. Okay, a little bit extreme. <laughs> yes. We're now at People Square. Doors will open on the left. So we're currently transferring to line two, which is the line where most of the touristy slash like landmark sites you want to see in Shanghai are. Um, we're at People's Square, which is one of the busiest metro stops in Shanghai, and we are going to Pudong. isn't even considered rush hour and super packed. This is relatively normal, especially for line two. Welcome to Pudong. You can see there's signs in English everywhere. Another way that you can tell that this area is definitely a new type of touristy is McDonald's, Mai Dang Lao in Chinese. So this is it guys, we are in Pudong. This is the most visually recognizable part of it. You can see a really good view of it across the Huang Pu Jiang, which is where the name Pudong comes from. Huang Pu Jiang is the river that separates Pudong, aka Pu East, and Pu Xi, which is Pu West. All the coolest parts of Shanghai, though, everybody can readily agree, are in Pu Xi, so west of the Huang Pu Jiang River, and that's where we're going to be spending the rest of the day. Appreciate this view one last time. Shanghai, aka Pushi. Right now, I'm gonna take you guys to Yuan Garden slash Chen Huang Temple. Okay, guys, we are here at Chen Huang Miao slash Yuan Garden. As much as I love this area, because as you can see, nice architecture, it's popping. The architecture is not actually that old. It's renovated from what it used to look like when it was Shanghai's old Chinatown. And I know that sounds weird because you're like, we're in China, why is there a Chinatown? Well, it's because the British and the French colonized other parts of Shanghai and the Chinese people were only allowed to live here. Here's a line of a bunch of stalls of traditional Chinese handicrafts. This guy is doing calligraphy. This is traditional Chinese paper cutting. It starts from one piece of paper and then they cut it into the shapes. Some loop. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Excuse me. So now we're at one of the most famous spots of this area, which is called Jiu Chu Chao, aka Nine Bend Bridge, I think it's directly translated into, but basically it's this windy bridge that has nine bends. You can see it in the back. There's a bunch of people, so I'm not gonna go on, but 
I just wanted to show you guys the area because it's really pretty. There's some koi fish. area of Chung Hong Mel where we were just at. Some old propaganda pens. Little red books. These are actually authentic ones from the Cultural Revolution. gate that marks the official exit of the Shanghai Old Street, the section that's touristy anyways, and now we're gonna go into a more authentic, residential, less touristy side of Old Shanghai. And also, in case you want to see, here's some more propaganda about loving your country. So I know the word propaganda sounds kind of freaky, but if you actually look at what they're saying, most of it's really just, look, this is how we want our society to be. We want everybody to be happy and harmonious together. So for example, take a look at this one behind me. I'm showing pictures of how they want all the old people to be happy and they want the country to be prosperous. You know, walk that old lady across the road. Yeah, that's basically all it is. This is a more authentic version of real Shanghai because there's actually Shanghainese people who have been here for generations and generations who live around this neighborhood. So the really traditional Shanghai neighborhood I just took you through has this type of architecture style, which you can see. It's named after this type of stone door frame. It's called Shi Ku Men. You can see this everywhere around this area. And if somebody's living in one of those, then you know that they are super old Shanghai people. This is the Shi Ku Men neighborhood that we just came out of. Not sure if you can tell, but all along the street behind me are different places to eat. So I'm gonna have lunch here. That says beef noodles. This place specifically, here we go. We're gonna pay with Alipay now. That's how it's done here. 